This episode of Film Rights brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot Mondays, of course, we dip into the mail sack, but then we get to the explosion challenge, which was, without question, what, our biggest response to any challenge yet, and some of the coolest submissions yet. So let's jump right into it, because I can't wait to get to some Monday challenges. your favorite documentary uh i don't i don't know I, i'm a big fan of documentaries but the ones i usually really like aren't necessarily well done i just really like the information within i think most recently the one i really really enjoyed and watched twice was uh, side by side from keanu reeves about the digital versus film they interview some really impressive people. It was extremely, extremely interested, interested, interesting. And I definitely recommend it to you guys to check out for sure. Hey, super cool rah guy. If you were to ask to direct the next Avengers movie, what would you do to the series? How would you change the storyline? I don't even, I'm not even egotistical enough to answer that question. I would pass out. I would throw up. I would pass out. I would hug everyone I knew. I would scream from the rooftops. My God, my God, I'm directing the Avengers movie. And I would pee a little. I think that, that, that's what I would do. So you wouldn't change a thing? Joss Whedon is a genius. I wouldn't, I, I couldn't even answer that. I'm a nobody. Why I'm not answering that question. That <laughs> Why fix it if it ain't broken? What is the stuff you use for puke, vomit? Do you make your own mixture? Do you use something like porridge? Uh, I don't really have a secret ingredient for vomit. I needed Josh to throw up, so I just looked in my pantry of what we had and I found oatmeal. I think somebody actually guessed it on YouTube and I meant to reply to them, but then I forgot to reply to them. So sorry person who actually guessed it and I meant to reply to, but didn't in fact reply to because I got sidetracked because I got a bit of ABD. It was in fact oatmeal. How often do you use a clap boa? <laughs> uh, pretty much never. It's, if we do a bigger project or, um, if we're doing sync sound, which we pretty much never do because we got too much of a, a short deadline to be able to do, you know, the dual dual recording situation is just no time to sync things. But unless we're doing a really big project, which is going to have a lot of friggin' clips that we need to organize later, or we're doing sync sound, uh, never. It just slows stuff down. And usually I'm the one that, for like film right sketches, I shoot them and then I edit them. If I was passing it off, then maybe, but since I already have in my head where everything is, it's just an extra step. Any updates on Pip? Yo, production. Yes, we are still actively working on it. We're working on a bunch of stuff. Nothing I could talk about right now because nothing is set in stone, but we are working on the next episode and I'm absolutely loving how it's coming out. We're held up because we're waiting for a specific something that I can't say because it would ruin something funny within the episode that's coming. So there's really no reason for me to just say that, but maybe you're a little more intrigued and you're like, wow, now I really want to see it, which then would help us. So maybe that was good. Maybe that was just really good marketing, accidentally. If you want to see older episodes of Pimpy Production, if you've never seen the show, you can check it out here. But the new episode is coming soon, and it's going to be... I'm really excited about it. So Domain.com, in my opinion, is the best place to go to get your website up and going. When you need a domain name, you need some web hosting, these guys can hook you up better than anybody else. I just love their interface. There's other places that you could go for webby, typey, stuffy, like this, but their interface is so freaking cluttered. I never know where I'm at or what I'm trying to do, and I feel like they're constantly trying to upsell me. I'm like, I already bought something. I just want to use my web. Stop upselling me. Domain.com is not like that. It is very clean and very easy to use. I'm not like super web savvy as far as that goes. So that is huge helpful for me. And if you are a filmmaker or a business person of any kind, I'm sure you want a website. And if you want to get your website up and going, again, domain.com, really the best place to go. And we can hook you up, my friend. If you use the promo code FILMRIOT at checkout, domain.com is going to give you 15% off your web hosting, your domain name, when you get it to get your business up and rolling. So go to domain.com, use the coupon code FILMRIOT at checkout, hook yourself up, hook us up, and, uh, you know, have some tea, some tea and crumpets. Why not? So here we go, jumping into the biggest response we've ever had for any Monday challenge, the explosion challenge. Here, kill Bill and zombie killing. We done use crazy methods for killing your zombies. We use film ride zombie exploder. Boom!
Why are you doing this? Because it's this week's challenge. So there you go, super, super impressed by a lot of those submissions, especially the last one. What is it, Dischance? Dischance. Not 100% sure how to pronounce your YouTube channel, but bravo, gentlemen, that was, that was sick. I, was, I made Bruno replay that one a few times. That's one of the effects where I'm like, I wish I did that. Yeah. That was sick, it looks so good. Your slow-mo looked fantastic, the kids getting lost. Awesome, awesome. And even the one uh, uh, with the kid walking down the house, he looks like he's a solicitor gone yes, wrong. Yes, I think it's the other Lorax. The other Lorax, right. And then uh, the, just the practical smoke and stuff that was added really, really helped sell the effect. Great idea. It looked beautiful. The one in the cornfield, mm -hmm. that one looked really, really great. And the one in the forest stood out to me too. The only thing I would say to help out uh, a lot of you is one thing I kept noticing over and over again is a lot of you guys aren't putting your explosions into a blending mode or maybe you're not adding unmolt and you're getting this black ring around your fire, which really kills the effect. It doesn't really look like it's in the environment at that point. So go to redgiantsoftware.com, uh, download their free unmolt uh, plugin and make sure you drop that onto your flames before you finish off your effect. That way it really makes it blend. Also either, you know, blending mode screen or add is usually the best with stuff like that. So make sure you're doing that and it'll take your effect to another level. That was one thing I saw arising again and again. So hopefully that helps. But now on to the next Monday challenge, which, okay, I have an idea. Okay. Tell me, don't, don't knock me down. Just tell me okay. what a music video. Okay. Do they have to create their own song? No, 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 okay, not their own song, because if they had to create their own song, that's that's asking a bit much. Yeah. There's only two weeks here. When I was saying it, you know our Turbulent Displacement song? Dude. Yeah, like everybody yes. loved that, it seemed like. Yes. I mean, you guys were asking us to even make it a, a download, so we did. So I'm saying, what if they go, they download Turbulent Displacement, displacement and they make their own music video to it? It's only like 30 it. seconds long. That's awesome, I love it. Right? That yeah. could be a lot of fun. Yeah. So, okay, so here's the idea. Go to this link right here, Download the Turbulent Displacement song. A lot of people had trouble downloading it. You gotta right click it and save link as. If you just click on it, it's just gonna go to this little page that'll play it for you. Download it and make your own music video to the song. There's, so the length of the song. The length, the length of the song. Uh, you can add effects to it if you want to, do whatever you, the idea is creativity here. So this challenge is really about what you're creating. So filmmaking is mostly about creativity. You need to know the techniques that go behind it so that you can apply your creativity to those techniques, but we've been doing that for a while. So let's mess with creativity now. Yeah. That's like the most important thing. So you make something hilarious, make something that looks beautiful, make something that's actually kind of cool to a really cheesy song. Whatever you want to do, just make it creative. Think outside the box, do something awesome. It's only 30 seconds long. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay. So we're giving you two weeks as always, which is September 28th, 28th right. by 12 p.m. CST to Bruno's either Twitter or Facebook page. We're going to call this one Monday Challenge Music Video. Music video. So get your turbulent displays on and get to work on the next. Wow. So there you go, that's it. And as always, it means it's time for the short film suggestion of the week. This one's directed by Carl, and I think it's pronounced Rinch. Rinch? I don't know. I'm terrible at pronouncing people's names. 
I'm like famous for butchering people's names, but this is a sci-fi that is freaking sick. It looks fantastic. It looks better than a lot of feature films that even come out. And it was a part of the Phillips when they came out with that cinema display and they had that whole parallel lines. They had a ton of short films. Yeah. Well, this is one of them. And the, the director actually has a feature film coming called The 47 Ronin, uh, which stars Keanu Reeves. And I'm very excited to see what this guy does with the feature because this short film is fantastic. It looks gorgeous. The pacing is amazing and the visual effects are awesome. The ideas all throughout are just great. There's tons of stuff as always to be learned from, which is what I really try to find is uh, short films that are not just good, but things that can inspire and you can learn from, which is why we go for some of these more higher end uh, short films because they're ones that inspire me. So check it out at this link right here. It's pretty short and freaking awesome. But that's it. Get to work on that uh, music video challenge, which I'm quite excited about now. And we'll see you guys next week.